It's nice to say that without having to put in gents on the end, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome to County Durham Community Foundation's third annual Women's Spring Lunch. I am delighted to be here. My name is Lisa Shaw. I work at Real Radio. Very nice to be asked. It's always a good sign. It's the third time I get to come back, which is great. And this event just gets bigger and better every single year. It has indeed attracted even more women. We've got a fantastic afternoon lined up for you. We've got a great lunch as well. We are going to have fun. Just a bit of housekeeping, if you don't mind, first and foremost. Uh, the fire doors are in this room, just over in the corner there, the organ room, and also in the reception room where you had your drinks. Uh, toilets, I know we'll all have checked them out already. A room full of women. We all know where the toilets are, but just in case you didn't, uh, they're on the way back through into reception. Uh, if you want more drinks, then you can get them from the bar just outside there. Uh, if you'd like to order any wine, there are spirits, of course, and soft drinks for you to get. Jugs of water should be on your tables, uh, and also there will be tea and coffee available after lunch. Uh, the table names, I don't know whether you've noticed the table names that you've got there. Um, they're actually named after hair colours. Now, the reason for that, um, it, it doesn't bear any relation to you guys, okay? That's what you need to know first and foremost. It's kind of extending the theme of our speaker, as you'll find out more a little bit later on this afternoon. So please do not be offended by any of those names. I don't know if there are any syllabus on any of the table. I've tried not to be offended by bottle blonde. So don't worry about that. And dark roots, I've ignored that one altogether. Especially with Janet here. Uh, can you please make sure that your mobile phones are switched off, or indeed on silent, especially through the speeches and the presentations that we're going to have a little bit later on? Now, a brief introduction, if this is maybe your first time here and you don't know an awful lot about the event and about the uh, CDCF. As I said, for those who weren't here last year, this is the third Women's Spring Lunch, and next year's date is already in the diary. You, do you want to write this one down? Thursday the 16th of May, 2013. It scares you, doesn't it? 2013? Uh, so, for those of you who are interested, stick that down in your diary so you can maybe even book your place before you leave today. That would be brilliant. I do actually understand there is a special offer if you sign up in the next two months, so there's an incentive for you. The purpose of the lunch is to raise awareness of County Durham Community Foundation, to give you the opportunity to meet new people, make new friends, and generally just have a nice lunch out of the office, maybe. County Durham Community Foundation has been going for 18 years now and since that time has given out over £19 million in grants to voluntary groups and disadvantaged individuals in County Durham and Darlington. It's one of 57 community foundations throughout the UK who are the largest independent group of grant makers in this country. Community foundations manage charitable giving for donors, just in case you weren't sure what one was, keeping their giving local and matching of causes close to their heart. It's a bit like having your own charitable trust, but without the fuss and the complications. Somebody else does it for you. CDCF now manages around 160 funds on behalf of local people uh, and awarded over £2.3 million last year on their behalf, which when you think we're in a recession, it's not bad at all, that, is it? More information is available in your take-home goodie bag, which hopefully you've found already. And Barbara Gubbins, who is CDCF's Chief Executive, will tell you more about the organisation and how you can get involved a little bit later on. However, several staff and trustees are here. If you do want to talk to them, they include Kate Welsh, Michelle Armstrong, Christina Rackley and Dawn Huntrod, who are hosting tables this afternoon. We have to say a big thank you to our sponsors, because today's lunch would not be possible without the very kind support of Taylor Packaging and Barclays. Established in 1973, Taylor Packaging Limited is now the North's leading independent distributor and manufacturer of packaging materials. Their reputation has been built on quality, speed and competitive pricing. Barclays is a major global financial services provider engaged in personal banking, credit cards, corporate and investment banking and wealth and investment management. With over 300 years of history and expertise in banking, Barclays moves, lends, invests and protects its money for customers and clients worldwide. Radisson Blue, of course, needs no explanation, obviously, but they have very generously provided our drinks reception and other in-kind support today. So we have to say a big thank you. What a fabulous venue as well, isn't it? Absolutely, and the room looks great too. Very girly. I like all the pink. Uh, shortly, I will be introducing our guest speaker, Janet Maitland, from Janet Maitland Hair Excellence. I believe have a very interesting story to tell, Janet. Uh, we have to tell you about the raffles that we've got. We've got two raffles. One is free. 